No, I can't let you keep me down. No, can't let you keep me down. I know you wanna see me down. No, I can't let you keep me down. No, I can't let you keep me down. I know you wanna see me down. Chasing this money, pocket stay full of the blue face honey. Yeah, thumb through that check and keep thumb and stay on haters just to show them who run. My mama told me they gon' hate me for something, but lately I feel like they hate me for nothing. Yeah, but lately I feel like they hate me for nothing. Lately I feel like they, hate me for lately, I feel like they hate me. real life street stars. We here with Mojo Bentley and True. What it is, boy? What's up with it, man? What's up, man? DV, man. What's up with it? Hey, man. Shit. For everybody who don't know, deaf, dumb, stupid, living up under a rock. Tell them where y'all from and how long y'all been doing your thing. Yeah, I'm from Woodtown, Texas, you know what I'm saying? I'm been to buy you some black, you know what I'm saying? And I've been doing it for a minute. I just ain't never just been the type of nigga to drop the shit, but now I'm finna drop a lot of stuff. Shit, man. Mojo Guapa Valley, man. From TK, you know. Shit, man. I've been doing this shit since I can't remember, man. You know, I love this shit, really, bro. Oh, with the business of man, I'm True Smell Gates. I'm from Shreveport, Louisiana, and I've been rapping for I don't know how long, man, since I was a youngin. I ain't really get serious in this shit till I met these niggas. They came to me one day while we was booming and shit. They was like, man, fuck this shit. We be playing around with this shit. We got to get serious with this shit, man. So we applied in this shit, trying to see what, what name we was going to come up with. We came with Dirty Boy, you know what I'm saying? But we did some research. Somebody already had that name. We had to... Lay that shit down and we came with some old shit. Now we call ourselves Dividend Brothers, you heard me? Amen. All about the money. So that's how we coming. Man, I got that Louisiana, Texas connection going on, man. Shit. Tell me, uh, how does it feel, man, being in the city, man, the Dallas, Texas, man, and how do y'all styles come together to make to cohesive to make the music y'all make? Okay, I mean, see, I'm I was born and raised in Dallas, you know what I mean? So it, was, it wasn't nothing really to me, you know what I'm saying? But me meeting up with my bros and they got their own different styles, you know what I'm saying? All that shit, it just really just come together. I mean, shit. When I came out here, y'all know how we came to, uh, came to Dallas, man. So uh, I came out here, I fell in love with the city. The city was big as fuck. I started fucking with the people out here, hitting up the clubs, strip clubs, and all. just got... You know what I'm saying? Became part of the lifestyle out here. Started fucking with these niggas, and we just clicked. Click hard in the motherfucker, we just start coming with that raw shit. And we're gonna keep coming with that raw shit. Yeah, man, shit. Everybody know Louisiana, especially down here, for that uh that, that hardcore felt, you know what I mean, that music that y'all make, you know what I'm saying? Does that influence your style or do you do you kinda make, you know what I'm saying, what type of music do you make personally? I mean shit, I made I made the music of based on my lifestyle, you know what I'm saying? And then the way I express myself, I put my real emotions and feelings in there. So that probably would make it raw. That would probably make that shit so hard. Man, one of the things that tripped me out is Louisiana probably smaller than Texas, but y'all niggas popping niggas left and right out that hole. That's why. It's, that so, it's so small. It's so small, man. I'm talking about you run to people all the time. Everybody know everybody. And then when shit get out there in the middle of the street, you know what I'm saying, everybody going to know. Everybody going to know. So what do you think is the difference like between the Dallas scene versus Louisiana scene? And why I mean, niggas ain't just popping like it out here. You know what I'm saying? Because we got talent out here too, but niggas ain't just I mean, popping yet. It's so, it's so big out here. You know what I'm saying? You can't really just catch a nigga doing shit. You'll hear about it over the news before you hear about it right in front of your face. You know what I'm saying? It's like you got Oak Cliff way over there, and then you got motherfucking Garland way over here, and you got North Dallas way over there. Everything spread it out, so it don't, it don't seem like it's happening that quick, but it is happening. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker dropping like... Last fucking uh, October, I know three people I know personally had dropped dead, got killed and shit. Then November came, somebody else got shot up in the car. You know what I'm saying? It be happening just everybody don't know as quick as Louisiana people know because I'll see the smile, everybody going to find out quick, fast, and hurry. Now, Mojo, you the youngin' in the squad, man. Yeah, yeah. Tell me some of the things you've learned coming up underneath your bros right now, man. Some things that are... Uh, You've seen, you know, went through with them and what it taught you and how you moving yo with the music. Man, really, bro, like, man, my niggas influenced me a lot, bro. It's really like on some shit, like, we just trying to get some money. Yeah. That's really all it's about at the end of the day. Like, we all trying to get some money no matter how we got to get it, what we got to do to get it, who we got to go through to get it. 
we trying to get some money. Amen. Now, Mojo, you 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 got that flavor, man, on them tracks, bro. Like you stand out like a motherfucker. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Where did you develop your style from? You say you from Texarkana? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Where did you develop your style from? Man, I really just I don't know, it just came to me like I listen to a lot of gates, you know. A couple of niggas like that. I really don't I don't listen to other niggas though. I just like music. My Amen. style is just like shit, I can't I can't I ain't really got a name for it. I just shit, it's just that mojo shit. Yeah. Mojo. Yeah. Amen. I'm <laughs> My motherfucking favorite artist is Drake. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. You know what I'm saying? That's Drake what I'm hard. With. We just gonna are we gonna we ain't gonna take off points for uh for the reference tracks, bro? I mean, you know, I, I cause I mean it's different, bro. Like you know when you hear stories of ghostwriting, but to actually hear a nigga the reference track, yeah. I mean, shit. I'm not even worrying about his background or none of that shit. That man, I just really, I just really be. I kind of like the shit that he go through, you know what I'm saying? The shit he be talking about, he don't just talk about straight street shit. Yeah, that's real shit. You know what I'm saying? That's real shit. All these rappers coming out, all they rap about street shit. They they talk like they gorillas in the street every right. fucking day, you know right. what I'm saying? It's not like that. You don't wake up and become a gorilla every fucking day, man. You Do you think that's detrimental to like the like the, the younger youth? Because it yeah. seems like the younger niggas are getting even more thorough, bro, yeah. as far as like, yeah, cause the shit, they really don't the give shit a fuck. they be saying, they think it's like that every day, you know right. what I'm saying? It's just like uh, all the shit they got on the TV, like... They made their gay shit legal now, and then they fucking up the kids' head with that shit. Same thing with all this old extra ass hoorah ass shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I feel like you should rap about what you go through every day. The problems don't be trying to just rap and make yourself seem like you're balling out of control every fucking day. You know what I'm saying? You gotta spend money, and make money. Hey Amen. Tell me how important it is with you uh, investing into your own career. I'm glad you say that because a lot of a lot of these kids get up. Get up and think that you know they just gonna drop a hot song and you know be overnight success and it does happen sometimes but yeah. that's not the reality. So how is important is it into investing yourself in your music? Man, it's very important to invest in yourself, man. You don't have nobody coming to you talking about some they did this and did that for you. <clears throat> yeah, remember I did this and then they just throw shit all in your face, man. When you invest in yourself, you are gonna feel better about the shit. You know what I'm saying? You are gonna have something to talk about. You are gonna t be able to talk about the struggle, everything you had to do, like. Bro, I started off with a nine to five. That shit wasn't working for me, so I got out there and did something different. It wasn't the right thing to do, but it's something I was good at, and I knew I could do it, and I knew I can get away with the shit. And I did it with somebody close to me, you know what I'm saying? And we got the business club. We did it what we posted it, and got what we had. Got money in my motherfucking pocket. He got money in his pocket. He got money in his pocket. We doing what we doing, you know what I'm saying? Take care of our own business, our own shit. We don't owe nobody nothing. Ain't nobody ever gave us shit, so. We're going to keep it like that. We're going to keep on doing our own business. Hey Amen. Now, Bentley, tell me, when you be in the studio, what kind of atmosphere do you need to best create your the Man, best music you can? Really? As long as I got that lean, I'm good. If you listen to my songs, I say lean junkie a lot. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Like a now, man, you know what I got the flash right now, you know what I'm saying? Full of the drink, pretty. Now we you now just I'm recently saying? no mix. No mix. You know what I'm saying? That's how we doing it. You get what I'm saying? Now you just recently like But I'm glad you brought that up. Now just recently we seen Mozzie pour out a whole uh cruiser full of lean on the ground and say he done with drink. I mean and he I encourages all the young niggas to be done with it. So I don't appreciate that in the way I feel. I mean, he got his life. Other people got their life. You got to live your own stuff. You can't tell another man how to live his life. I, if he want to drink lean, if you want to quit, that's fine. You quit. But you know what I'm saying? You ain't going to stop. But we do know lean is detrimental to niggas' health. Yeah, it is. But I mean, <laughs> it's a big... I mean, the nigga said, fuck that. I'm going to sit in my hey, lean. Man. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? Hey, man. You can go outside right now and die, get hit by a motherfucking hey, bus man. or a car. Right. You get what I'm saying? So. Right. Well, lean ain't the only thing killing people. We ain't got to worry about the lean. We got to worry about people popping our ass and shit. You get what I'm saying? So, you, yeah, man, I mean, hey, I'm still going to drink. Yeah. Hey, man, I like, man, now all of y'all niggas is draped in some fine, some fine designer, you know, looking like a lot of money. Tell me what y'all first store y'all going to hit when y'all jump in the North Park. The first store? I mean, say, man, you know, see, I got the red bottoms on, man. I'm, but I'm a Gucci man, man. I like Gucci, man. Gucci is the shit, man. That shit is the shit, man. I don't know, man. I probably, I don't know. I 
ain't, I don't know. I ain't just, I ain't just gonna do it like that, man. You know, I'll probably go to the Gucci store, get it, get it, get a little something. <laughs> I ain't gonna do it like that. Go to the Gucci store. You know, just a little something. Man. On the smooth, man. I don't really be trying to jump fly or no shit, no shit like that. I don't really care if I'm matching or nothing. Cause me, I come out with mixed designer. It really don't even matter. I come out with some Gucci with some motherfucking Versace, a fucking Fendi belt with it. Man, long as the shit look good to me, that's how I'm coming. I spent the money on that shit, so I can wear what the fuck I want to wear. Real nigga shit. But, Damn. you know, if you know a place I can go to buy some fly shit, hit your boy up, True Smith Gates. You'll find me on Instagram or whatever, man. Um, do y'all have any merch for y'all, like y'all, y'all personal uh, label? It seems like a lot of niggas got their own merch now, you know what I'm saying? Do y'all have y'all own merch yet? Yeah. Man, yeah, yeah, we just really started, man. <clears throat> we made a little decision not too long ago when we both got out of jail and shit, so we trying to put everything together now. Nah, we not going. trying to go back. <laughs> nah, so we going back. I'm on probation right now. I can't do no type of drugs, drink no type of liquor. Got a drug patch on my arm. I go to fucking class every fucking week. You know, they on my ass, man. So yeah. I'm, I got my nose clean out here. Hey man, um, y'all y'all drop, you know, what I'm saying we heard like at least four or five tracks plus, you know, what you did in the booth or whatnot, and y'all y'all going in, but you said that um, you don't really, I guess you just starting to get back into it, and you about to start dropping. What what was the delay or what held you back? Well, the delay that was holding me back was at first, like I had other stuff to do, you know, gotta accumulate that money. I ain't shit free in the world, so shit, I had to run it up before I can do the shit. You know what I'm saying? But before then, we was just dropping music just to have fun. Now we're trying to make sure we just take it serious, then you know what I mean? Do something with it. So if you could be doing anything outside of music, you know what I'm saying, that you would still love to do, what would that be? Getting some money. Ain't nothing other than music and money. That's like the best combination, you know what I'm saying? It's like a plate of food. It's a Kool-Aid, you know what I'm saying? Shit, just go together. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I ain't never heard that compare, but that's a good ass comparison. <laughs> yeah, hey, man. You know, all some shit just go together. You can't come with some Kool-Aid, you ain't got no sugar. This shit go fuck up the yeah. whole flavor. Yeah. Now, two of y'all don't have social media, am I correct? Yeah, yeah. Two yeah. out of three of y'all. But we know social media right now is the strongest platform to get your music heard. What do you like better? Do you think you do you like touching the people more or do you like well you don't even have a social media? Or what's keeping you from getting the social? Media? I mean, just getting on there, I mean, there'd be a lot of misses, dumb ass shit going on that shit. But think about it is in the the situation I'm in, I'm finna have to get on that motherfucker anyway, you know what I mean? So right. You ever have a bitch screenshot you on Facebook? <laughs> some <whole> shit? <laughs> That's why he ain't got one. Yeah, I really don't <laughs> care for it, man. It's like, I really don't care for it because, like I said, all that shit do is cause mess. Motherfuckers want to look you up from years ago and just yeah. hit you up because they think you're doing good. You know what I'm saying? You did cause some trouble. Yeah. Just that quick with some bullshit. So I don't, I don't really want to get into it. What's the pettiest What's the pettiest shit you ever did? The pettiest <laughs> shit bitch? I did? <laughs> yeah, to a Oh, man. <laughs> Man, why y'all you won't go there, man? You hear me, man? Who gonna go there? <laughs> Who gonna go there? Bruh, the pettiest shit I ever did to a bitch, went to a motherfucking crib. I made her suck me out for whatever. And she got the hell of my, she want the dick. So I told the bitch I ain't got no rubber. So she was like, go get one. I said, man, I don't feel like going out there right now. I'm comfortable with the bitch. You go on ahead and go. So I gave the bitch like $5 to go get the motherfucking rubbers and shit. Before she even came back, I'm dipped out like this. Ah, <laughs> ah, <laughs> real life she saw. Oh, real life. Hold on. Now that nigga wrong in a bitch. <laughs> you left a door unlocked, fam? Man, I left everything, bro. <laughs> left everything but my shit. Hey, hey. <laughs> Did you take a couple bucks? <laughs> man, nah, bro, I ain't hey, take nothing but my shit, nah, man. The bitch ain't really had shit for me but the head. <laughs> Man, that's, that was a golden moment, fam. I ain't gonna yeah. lie. Hey, I'm just being 100, man. <laughs> I got some crazy moments, but we ain't gonna go there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we all wanna put some people out there, man. We'll hey, keep man. that to myself, man. Man, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> See, bro, I'm gonna tell it like it is. You know what I mean? But hey. Man, how does somebody get a name like Bentley? I can't for I always wanted a Bentley, don't you? Amen. Shit. You know what I'm saying? I like, mean, I ain't, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I want that I8. Nah, well, you gonna see me in the Bentley. You being your I8, and it's just like yeah, I'm gonna go pull up on side and lift them doors and all the way up. Hey, it's hey, Bentley by you, son, for the record, <laughs> man. It's Bentley by you, son, black. You know what Amen. I mean? <laughs> How 
How you come up with the buy you some? Because I got a lot of shit, and if you want it, you can buy you some. You yeah. know what I mean? So, hey, man, what you need, hit me up. Hey, what are the rules and regulations if somebody want to buy some? Oh, what man. are the do's and don'ts? What are your office hours? <laughs> <laughs> man. Mine, mine, very true, man. Do you take, do you take Bitcoin? <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> you heard you heard Trap Boy Fred and Pee Wee Longway. Same phone, you can hit me on to get a verse. Hey, That's the same phone, you can hit me on to get your hey, stuff. Yeah, man. So, yeah. What? Same phone. That's yeah. You, you don't like Trap Boy? I said, it's my favorite song. Yeah, yeah. Oh, nah, <laughs> Anybody, uh, so what projects are y'all working on right now? Uh, I mean, we we finna drop um, a project we got like next week. You know, what I'm saying it's gonna be on all the little iTunes and stuff. Y'all can go pick it up. And then we each working on our own little solo project with a whole lot of features. So we are gonna be getting features from people. And I mean, we really just starting it like that, man. And, is there anybody y'all working with that y'all can tell us about right now, or anybody that y'all have any hopes? You worse than other people trying to get a. Uh, uh, early release, Kifo. You gotta wait on the music, like everybody else. Nah, nigga, you, when you when you hit real life street stars, you gotta give us an exclusive, <laughs> man. Fuck these other niggas. <laughs> hey, um, what what producers do y'all work with? Oh uh, man, I'm I mostly I mostly wrote uh fuck with Rogish man, and he had put me on with the dude called uh what's his name? DJ. DJ. Man, DJ just passed. Man, I'm talking about the new dude. Y'all producer died, bro. Turn up, turn up, yeah. Damn. Yeah, okay, man, DJ okay. just passed. Recipes, uh, mm-hmm. DJ, he the one that died in November, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. R.I.P., bro. That's that's terrible. So, um, uh, with that being said, uh, what are like your top three favorite songs, just that y'all have done, in, just in general, that niggas can go search, or can they search? Yeah, shit. I will say my favorite song I done drop probably be all the way down, man. All the way down. Is that available for a nigga to listen to now, or do is that? Yeah, just that's it's coming? on YouTube. It's on YouTube right now. What about you, Mojo? Man, I think my favorite song, man, have to be Picasso. Yeah. But you got to wait. You got to wait for the CD for that one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, give us the meaning it. behind that, man. Tell us, tell us. You painting a bitch? What's what's going on? See, Picasso is like we paint the perfect picture, you know what I mean? Amen. That's why we called it Picasso, you know what I mean? Amen. And I mean, I got a song that's uh, already out. I actually got two. You can look me up, Bentley Black, Get Home, or you can just look up Bentley Black and you'll see um, my other song called Recipe. I mean, it's already on YouTube, and we finna drop the CD to that, so y'all gonna be hearing about it pretty soon. Can you cook? <laughs> it depends on what you want me to cook, you know what I mean? Culinary artists. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're talking about food, then. Man. <laughs> That's all we talk about, fam. We ain't talking about yeah, shit else. So I'm just saying, nigga, we squared up in here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, man. I do a little cooking. That's all right, you know yeah. what I mean. What about cooking for your lady? Hey, man, ain't no wrong with it, man. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> El Chapo. Uh, or narco, uh, the nigga on Narcos. Speaking of that shit, man. <laughs> my girl, my girl, she has Spanish, so you know, I be in that bitch cooking. It's the crazy thing is, she has Spanish, but she do not know how to cook. That is crazy, bro. Yeah, that's fucking crazy, I you know what I'm saying? I ain't one so like that. I Unless they're that. Americanized. <laughs> yeah, man. I, now, she from Los Angeles. That's, uh, but can she speak yeah. Spanish? Yeah, she speaks Spanish good. That's enough. crazy in the bitch she can't cook. She trying to teach me and shit. Man, learn that shit, bro. I'll be like, bro, hey, hey, bro, goddamn. I'll be like, this is L Rider. Don't get to the dope if I knew some spin, some motherfucker. Any type of. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But nah, man. So tell us. I want to hear from each of y'all. Oh, wait, wait. Before we go there, man, who's crazy? Uh, black women or uh, Mexican women? Boy, <laughs> it's hard to even pick between them two, women man. Crazy. Yeah. yeah. I'll, say, you- I'll say black and Hispanic kind of neck to neck, boy. Yeah. For real. <laughs> <laughs> Bitches just crazy, period. Yeah, for real. Women, women, women are just crazy, period. But we love y'all. Yeah. We love y'all. They, they, they want to say we the reason why they crazy. Right. That might be true, Yeah, fuck all that. You think so? Nah. I think, I think they just been looking for a reason to bring that shit out. To be crazy, right. To be crazy. Wow. They, they be want a short nigga that crazy side, but the only reason they really do it, because, you know, they want that, yeah. But then we get back the fuck out of them. <laughs> 
<laughs> that might I just, can't do that. That might just be me. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's just me. Real I can't life. do that one, man. <laughs> so just a couple of them. Yeah. Don't do too much. Just, just yeah. a little warning. Right, just a little warning. <laughs> little, little shaky shake. Make a little woozy. Yeah, see, I might shake the fuck out of her, but you know, right. I can't bad the bitch. <laughs> so, um, in y'all music career, as long as I've been doing it, what's the most the most positive thing that's happened to y'all? What's the most shyest thing that's happened? Uh, man, most positive shit happened. We got a lot of shit done in a little bit of time. Like when we got out of jail, I said in, in uh probably about three, four months, I done made ten bands. You know what I'm saying? He got, I did the same fucking thing. We started buying cars out the air. Like I got a couple of them bitches. He got a couple of them bitches. You know what I'm saying? Then we was able to do everything we want to do. But the negative shit. Man, we came across some motherfucking people who just try to, you know, get over on a nigga and think they were going to get away with it type shit. So we had to handle our business, how we handle our business type shit, man. But motherfucker trying to, I don't, I don't want to say it without saying too much, man, but trying to give us some shit and not give us the shit we asked for. Man, that's, that's going around, bro. I ain't lying. It's yeah. going the fucking around. Man, y'all got any shout outs y'all want to kick? Man, I want to shout out to everybody who doing everything by themselves, man. Everybody who coming up. I be seeing a lot of niggas coming up in Dallas, Yellow Bees, the Trap Boy, all them boys doing their thing. You heard me? Yeah, yo, they all doing their thing. They coming up doing their thing by themselves. And J1, J100 too. What do you think about the falling out of hood fame, man? I think the, the hood fame falling out. Man, I ain't really just that shit been kind of hurt because it's like, damn, them niggas was coming up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, I ain't really just been that that tuned into they shit. You know what I'm saying? I be catching their ass not every now and then on the ground. Like they they got to me and told me I need to start making this uh, social media shit. So I went on and made mine. Then I started seeing them on there. He doing this motherfucking thing for I see, but I I really just ain't been tuned in with them like that. Fuck with J100. Yeah, J100. Yeah, that my nigga. I was with him last night. Man, that young nigga <laughs> got it. Yeah, he, yeah, he doing his thing, man. Like yeah, we was at, we was in like one of his very first videos and shit. You know what I'm saying? When I met him, I, I already knew he was gonna be raw. I told him, man, keep on doing that shit. He was like he don't want to do features with nobody. I was like, man, do features with everybody, everybody you know. Yeah. It don't matter if they go hard or not. You know what I'm saying? As long as you stand out in that bitch. Amen. Well, y'all, a couple of y'all ain't got no social media, so <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if it, if they want to get it, y'all for any. Yeah. I'm gonna have one by Monday. Yeah. If they want to get it, y'all, you know, for any bookings or features, how can they get in touch with the Dividend Boys? Oh, I still got Facebook. All oh, day. yeah. Facebook. You can hit me on Facebook, Bentley by your son, Black, you know what I'm saying? I got my brother. You can hit us all on Facebook. We got the Dirty Boy Instagram. Y'all can always hit that who up, go subscribe us. You know what I mean? We got a lot of shit going on, so. You can hit me up, you know, Dying Guapa Valley at Facebook. It's Guapa Valley, G U A P A V E double L I. You said what? They ain't flagged it yet? Nah, they ain't flagged it. Man, they flagged it. I nigga had a name so called. They flagged my shit so quick. They but not flag my shit. <laughs> <laughs> Real shit. I already done had to make a new one. Guapa Valley. That's hard. Yeah. <laughs> you gonna go just off the name. <laughs> Mojo, man, Billy, true, man. Y'all real life street stars. We fuck with everything y'all do. Y'all drop something, let us know. Dividend boys coming sooner than motherfucking later, man. Y'all boys, take, man, we salute everything y'all doing, man. Appreciate you, man. You know, dividend boys, man. Oh, where can where the, where the hoes hit y'all if they want to? Y'all got any numbers for the hoes? I know you do, young nigga. <laughs> <laughs> real life street stars in this video. Let's go. Shout out real street stars, nigga. Moolah. Hey.